Okay, this is the average person when they're working in the average chair. What's really distinguishable is how rounded she is here in the back and how the shoulders are forward. They're over this direction. And that she's got a, she's leaning on her sho on her arms and she's looking downward. This will probably be more painful at the end of the day. Or she's leaning backwards in her chair. It's like she's really, really feeling it good. <laughs> That's how most people will sit when they're doing their work at their desk. This is causing a lot of tension in here. Although it feels good, for a while it starts to build up because you're sitting on your coccyx and your sacrum and your L5 is bowing out. And she's more relaxed in here, but this is all going to feel really weird when she stands up. Now I want her to start out changing that. She's going to use the two and a half. And she's going to put it underneath herself in, in any place she wants to, if you want it forward, or she wants it in the back, and then she's sitting up. So immediately, she, if she doesn't feel really good about it, she changes her chair. She does, doesn't want to sit towards the front of, the, of the, the cushion, which a lot of people mistake for the cushion. Try to sit forward in the cushion. Let's say if you were sitting in the middle of the cushion. Yeah, that's it. They don't tend to go all the way back. And then the coccyx, if you have any problems with your coccyx, you will not be able to use the benefits of the, the cutout. Then, and then she, plus she's starting to lean more when she's in the middle. And she cannot really get her balance there. She's starting to feel like she's tipping over. Also, if she sat too far back, she'd be f falling over the edge too much. Okay, so there's two extremes I wanted to point out. Anyway, th the fix that is to be right on the top edge. That's about it. Just enough little body fat over the edge. <laughs> and your, your sits bones are right underneath you. And you should feel the alignment. If you don't feel alignment, it's going to come. But it's it's just a, sometimes I could even look at some people and say, the, the upper back is too far forward, so bring it back a little bit. There you go. It's hard to do for some people, and it does take time to learn that. Because you want your chest to feel open and relaxed, and your, 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 your backbones, your, um, your scapula, deep closer together, and your hips wide. What happens when you tuck your pelvis under? Your your sits bones come together. Now this is a two and a half. We're going to try the three and a half. She's placing it pretty close to the back. She, apparently she likes it there. And she still has to move around a little bit to get it so that she's happy. And she's not going to sit in the middle. And this is real important. And she might want to be lower because she's higher. And then she can work on the, thinking about where her shoulders are over her hips. Is your shoulders forward? Think about that. Just ask yourself that. Are they back? That's perfect. Now try the four, four inch. People that try the four inch, they want to learn to get used to the four inch. It's a more aggressive cushion, but it's actually much more getting to the point. You're going to be sitting upright. So that, but with that comes a little bit of responsibility about gradually getting used to it because we've been sitting a certain way for a long time and our backs are not used to it that, that soon. I, I notice she's not dangling her legs down and she's lowered her seat. She might want to, after she gets really good at this, raise her seat. It does take a little bit of getting used to. Flexibility doesn't happen overnight. And when she's ready for that, she will try to do that. She will raise her laptop, of course, with some kind of books 
or like I said, the SIDS cushion can help you there. If you want to spend the money on the, the cushion, and just having extra cushions around the house does come in handy. Then we also have to try the um, the lumbar supports. When putting the lumbar supports on, we have firm and we also have memory foam. And they're quite easy to get on the back of a chair. It's just sometimes you don't even care if you put them on the back of a chair. So that you want to put the largest side down. Just to now scoot back and you can feel the back of the the, the lumbar support. In a, as if you're, you know, now you're relaxing and you're giving the the back the less work to do. There is a strap that goes on this that you can that has Velcro and that you can simply add. But here's another one. This is firm. With firm, you're definitely sitting upright more so. And you might have to move the back, the bottom of your, you know, your your cushion forward to to feel that. Some people actually use both in their seat just to make sure they have enough cushion back there. And these are possibly the, th that is the a pretty firm. It can go on a couch as well. And when you have a, cushion, a, a back that might not be the right one, you can make the Velcro go vertically.